Hi all, this is Care Hart, and I have three surprise guests with me today on this craft. Now, why do I have this pile of ribbon and fabric strips, um, rubber bands, wire, twist ties? Um, I have wired ribbon, regular ribbon. I even have tool in here. And oh my gosh, the fabric stips. Did I mention that? Um, you can literally use anything to make dot, dot, dot what the rest of the world calls messy bows, right? So we are going to be using fabric scraps to have a lot of fun. And what you'll do is create something like, let me show you, first guest, Jean Peters sample. Jean, you wanna show one of them? Isn't that flipping fun? It is a messy bow, so easy to make and looks adorable if you're going to put it on a present or a gift or even in a kid's hair for Halloween. Wouldn't that look cute if they were doing pigtails? They're awfully addictive. They are. I'm sorry. She's tying hers with um, fabric fabric strips. I want to try wire and twist tie and, and fibers and all that stuff. Darla and Kim are going to be making them too with us. So let me go ahead and put all four of us on the screen. How fun is this going to be? And so let me go ahead and take the tool is a fun little layer. Now, what I recommend when you're making your messy bow for the first time is put the boring stuff and or the stiff stuff in the back on the bottom. Layer that first. You want your strips, if they're really long, it's going to be a floppy, messy bow. If they're too short, it'll look more like a pom-pom. You know, when I say pom-pom like this. If your fibers are really, really skinny, then you're basically making a pom-pom. If you've made a pom-pom before, it's not all that different. We're just doing it with fabric strips instead. So, like, if I'm putting the stiff stuff on the bottom, I want my fabric strips to, for me personally, somewhere between four to five inches doesn't have to be precise. You guys do it anywhere from four to eight inches or three to eight inches. It'll still look like a bow. It's just the longer your strips, the more it'll take to make it feel like a bow when you're stacking it. That's all. That's all. And then you fluff it when you're done. Okay. I'm going to take out my rubber bands and my tool. By the way, I brought with me, I want to practice, I want to play and put paper in it too. So it's almost like cluster bows. Um, so I have lace, strips of fabric that were cut from my old clothing or from a chindi rug I just did the other day. Take out my fibers. I even have buttons because I love clusters. So I just think it'd be fun when I tie one through with a button. Now, every single hardest this month is going to be receiving a little plastic needle. This is why we're sending it because for some of you who are tying knots or maybe you want to run it like Kim and Jean are talking about running it like a, um, oh, come on, help me with the word. Garland. 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 <laughs> okay, here's my messy box. Yeah, I love it. I, I'm telling you, I love a, a good strip. <laughs> That's so many heard. jokes. So many jokes there. <laughs> I just want to say hi, Erin. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kat. Hi, Arlene. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Erin. I'm hi. not watching on YouTube. I better go to YouTube. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Are we on the Careheart channel or Defy? This is on the Defy channel. Okay. And I am working on being totally random, getting out of my own head. So I'm trying to make mine, oof, I have some really thin fabric. Make mine be as random as possible. Where's my scissors? That's a challenge for me too, as we all know. <laughs> We're working on that, Kim. We're working on that. Yes, we are. <laughs> there was a drug for random. I'd sure share it with you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. See, I say I'm being random and now I'm picking through my fabrics because I want it to gradually come in on size. 
and y'all don't hesitate. I have to bring out the good scissors because this is fabric month and I've made all of my scissors dull this month. So um, if you want your fabric to be smaller, don't be afraid to cut it while you're going. You know, like I want a little pinch on the inside there. I don't know about white right next to each other. Where did I go with random? I already quit random, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it all bunches up fabulously when you're done. All right. I won't make the first one too big. Just so I can show you how easy it is, right? I'm just going to take a piece of fabric for the first one to show you that it can all be done with fabric scraps and just tie it in a little knot. And then peel it out, bunch it up. And I can't believe I can't find the original inspiration ones that Shelly Crafting Mama sent me. Now, for those of you who love to have beautiful finished edges, and you have your little messy bow and it looks so darn cute like a little messy bow right there right um just do it just come in find your little pieces and put little ends to it if you feel like it just watch your fingers if you're doing it after you need it and when you're tearing your fabric in strips you're going to have lots of little strings and stuff and that just adds to the messy Oh, I agree. I prefer them to be torn. In fact, um, when doing the chindi rug and I just separated everything, I was so freaking happy after it washed having some of the little tattered pieces to it. I think that one's just too big, so I'm just going to cut it and tear it. That's it. It's that simple. Now, when you stack it way higher, and look, I love all these little bits. So for those of you who love clusters, I'm going to have a little cluster pile. Oh, my gosh, I found them. <laughs> I <got> oh, yay. <laughs> oh, uh, I knew I had this little that. See, the hub says he only does shopping so I can have pretty boxes. So he bought himself a pretty watch for a pretty box. For me. <laughs> I might have to try that excuse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the cutest thing. So like he'll get multiple shipments from Amazon. I'm not buying for myself. I just know you need boxes. All right. Let me show you the two that I flip and loved. These came um, on a gift back in, in Christmas where um, Shelly made these fabulous messy bows. Each one of the pieces of fabric is different. There's tulle, lace, crafting mamas, if you know her that way. And one of the, and you can tell it was intentional too, because one of the fabrics has a little Care Bear. How cute is that? Yep. And uh, you can see that's all different sizes too. How fun is that? And then they're, they're tied together either accidentally or purposely. I don't remember. I think they came off two presents. So I think it's purposely. But anyway, yeah, those are the two samples that inspired the whole shenanigan. I love those. I do too. And your stuff doesn't have to be perfect rectangles, but it can be. Oh, I won't use those scissors for a wired ribbon too, which is so cute. I love owls. Gives me a reason to use this. I've had this forever. I'm in the drawer that I never use. Never go in my ribbon drawer. Hmm. One thing I noticed is I was setting mine all out with the pattern facing up, and I probably should have you know had some with the pattern going down. Well, that's true. If you twist them a little bit, because I didn't pay attention either, and some don't, but you really can't tell all that much. Like it's okay. it's okay. It it you can decide which one's front. You just flip it over, and your front has this instead of the knot. Oh, okay. Because I did the same thing as you. Oh, did you? Okay. 
Now I'm using a big old uh, um, pipe cleaner. Let's see how it goes. I love that you're using a pipe cleaner. I think that's awesome. I like giving mine a haircut after it's done. I have to stop that. <laughs> Take Kim's scissors away. I know, but you're right, Dean. These are addicting. And when you're pinching it, instead of rolling it to tie it, which will give you one look, you want to try to, like, um, grab, if it's really wide, like this one is really wide for me, try to pinch it. Hmm. Uh, what do you call that shape? Accordion style. So you can see all the fun mm -hmm. stuff when you're tying it. I got to spread out my, my random pile. Yeah. Some people make the big old X when they're doing theirs, or they do an X with like the snowflake down the middle and on the top. I, I suppose that works too. I'm going to try this one with wire wire and a little button in the middle. Oh my gosh, that button's so cute. I have a button problem. Mine are I kind do. of an X, but only kind of. Jean and I have button problems. <laughs> yeah, you two have button problems. <laughs> Hi, <Happy. Christy. laughs> Hi, T. Oh, you know what? Let me use. <laughs> I bought an itty bitty crimping iron and it came with a twist tie. So I'm going to use the twist tie on one of these. It's so much fun, Brooke. Seriously. These are fun. Okay. Hold your britches. There we go. I think mine's a little just too, too big. It just looks like a big floppy mess. <laughs> well, I they think the shorter strips work better too just for my own i think so too you think that what between six and eight inches yeah the shorter strips seem to uh, floof, floof better okay let me i'm gonna start over then i Go clearly do shorter. tiny yeah i clearly do tiny because my strips are running mm -hmm. between four and my longest one is seven point to point oh i guess it, it's coming off a little bit on this one it's like batman wings <laughs> Batman wings. I like that. Oh my gosh. This these scissors are so darn. It is really satisfying though too if you just want to sit and rip strips for a long time. That's pretty yeah, that's pretty satisfying. I I like doing that. Oh my gosh, with the wired ribbon, it just becomes like your own molded creation. That's kind of nice. That is cool. I didn't think about putting <laughs> wire ribbon in there. Yeah. Gonna have the master of mess right there. It's Starla tiny. Brooks says yummy fluffy ball is good. She likes it. See, most of mine are between six and eight inches, and it's kind of big, but when you go and fluff and pull, I like it. Don't you make it sound like laundry? I'm sending you home. <laughs> I don't fluff and pull nothing. Closest to pulling in the dryer is getting it out of the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Two down. Oh my gosh, look how many you could make so quickly. I got three done. This is from one of my favorite silk shirts that I messed up. I was so sad about it. This is me. This is me hoarding lace from so long ago that I bought from Lizzie. <laughs> Oh my hi, gosh. Lala. I'm gonna hurt myself with Hi Lala. Hi Brooke. I can't stand it. I gotta string mine together now. I just gotta I, do it. I, I wish you would. I'm dying to see what that looks like. I'm trying to figure out how far apart I want to put them, or do I? You you a little I, bit. Th the same size as the bow, maybe. Because then you have like the bow and then some string and then the bow, just so you can see the string at least. Because over time the bow will hang the hang down, right? I'm gonna go around my door for Halloween. That's my plan. 
That would be so, so, that's going to be really, really cute. That would be adorable. I haven't yeah. decorated for Halloween forever because we don't get any trick-or-treaters. I don't see We don't problem. either. We still decorate, though, but, yeah, us either. I did like the whole wired thing. Get some of my black tool. Anybody Darla, ever? I'm trying it backwards, Darla, to see if it helps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it down by the end of this. We'll have them down pat. Everybody gets all serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to make me big so everybody can give me their opinion. Okay. Okie doke. Okie dokie. I love, love that far picture. apart. What do you, what does anybody think? Or just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I like them closer together. I think I, I, I agree. I do yeah. too. Okay. Thank you. What a cute garland that is though. Yeah. I've decided to do it different than what I started with. So <laughs> mine's going to be a banner too in my craft room. That's why I'm using all pink because I actually have all these fabrics and I'm going to make a pennant banner out of these fabrics and then put this over top of the pennants. Cool. So there's a method to my pinkness. <laughs> Duh. There's a method to your pinkness. See, this yeah. should be in your stash. <laughs> yeah, there's. it's always pink, but this one is because it's going in my craft room. I want to do one that's all lace and just see how that turns out. It's just too long right there. Darla, it works better. You're right. If we put the strips face down, mm -hmm. it works better. You're right. I don't think I like those colors together. I'm probably not going to get any done. I'm going to sit and keep it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't be too hard on yourself. This is fun. <laughs> You know, you you need to give yourself the challenge of just let it be. Well, let my be. Thought, my thought was it would might be nice to put on. I'll probably pick up some kind of little thing from the Dollar Tree or something to hang on the door for um, fall. So oh. that just might kind of help, you know, spruce it up a little bit. Just stick a little messy bow on it. Oh my! I, That's a great I, idea. I saw someone take a Dollar Tree frame one time and put a fancy pants bow on it, but wouldn't it be so cute if someone had like a grunge Dollar Tree frame and put a messy bow, chalkboarded it, you know, wouldn't that be so darn cute? Oh, that's a good idea too. Chalk paint, okay. distressed okay, and grungy messy. I have to say, I know this is going to sound silly, but I freaking love the rubber band in the middle. Can you hold it up closer, Care? I want to see. I'm not done okay. with my, my messy yet. No, but. yeah, I gotcha. But I'm bunching it now, and I think I want to try something, though. So, like, I tied the little bow right there. I think I want to, yep, hold your britches, because I have an idea. Hi, Curly. Go. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Okay, check this out. So I tied it in the in in the middle, and now I'm bunching it all together, and I'm gonna tie it around the bottom. Wouldn't that be cute if you put something on the bottom and it was attaching to something right there, and then it just bunches on the top? That is okay. cool. Hi, Curly. That is very cool. It'd have to set in something because it's not as pretty on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Yeah. But if it was setting in something, you could totally spoof up like if you did the little v edges that would be adorable the beater i thought about is. doing that but i was like after i stripped all this fabric i was like yeah no oh i'm <laughs> i'm just randomly trimming it when it looks too long i'm not cutting all the ends like i normally do because that would take another half a day it's so cute oh my gosh i love that don't forget to save anything you trim off because that would make great clusters Yes. Right. Um, 
I already have my husband's shopper box. It's it's going in there. <laughs> the, the beater in me is is doing this. Just like I would be knotting something. I go so far, I put a knot in, put the banner in, the bow in, and then tie another knot. Just like I was beating pearls. <sighs> Has to be a better way. It's, we, yeah. I'm trying not to think too much. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just trying not to think. Well, I'm thinking we should treat it like clusters and do our best not to overthink the messiness on these. Yeah, I'm trying not to. That's hard yeah. for me. I also think it's nice when something has something pretty on both sides of it. You know, where both sides of the fabric is pretty. Mm-hmm. All right, you're just a little too long. Well, the only reason I'm doing this this way is because I don't want the bows to move. I want them to stay where I put them. And since Bossy. they're just like kids, they never <laughs> mind. Don't move. I told you to go to your room. Stay in the stay in the knots. Oh, I love this. Mm. She's gonna be done with a whole garland. I'm gonna I know. <laughs> well, I did do a few of these. I was gonna say Jeannie worked ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it was brought up and the bag of yes. Helen scraps was within arm's reach. <laughs> I have to say, it was really fun taking apart that chindi rug. I think I'm going to get one of those and try that because that those strips look cool. It's completely like random stuff that wouldn't be in my normal pile besides my taking apart clothing, you know? That's why I think that would be good for me specifically. <laughs> really. But some of them, it's hard to use it in a messy bow because I just love the fabric so much. You know? But yeah, you didn't make it in. But if you use it in something you're going to see every day, then then it's okay. That's true. That is true. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you have a feeder supply um, anywhere close to you, but I noticed when I was looking online, they have those tending rugs for $1.99. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh, hold on. I said the wrong one. Not, not your supply. So sorry. Not feed and tractor because we have those everywhere here. No, rural, rural King. That's easy for me to say. Well, I've never heard rural of that. King. Rural King. Yeah. We don't have that here. I don't think. Don't have that there. But I would just look online because they're kind of like that. They're kind of like a tractor supply type. That's they have that kind of stuff. So I would look and see, you know, think about a place like that. Um, or big lots. Oh, yeah. We have those everywhere here. So I'm gonna sit down there. I don't know. Smart, so, so so when we go on vacation, I told my husband we can't leave too early because I need to go to some Dollar Generals on the way. And he laughed at me. I need you a bouncy have, ball. Oh, you don't so, have Dollar General, Jean? Yeah, but I just don't go anywhere. Oh. And so I thought, while we're traveling, I can stop. And he says, why do you want a bouncy ball? And I said, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Is it going to be an office chair? No. Nope. <laughs> make something oh, with it. My. I can only imagine that. And it has to be, um, I mean, I probably could find a basketball around here, but that's not going to work because um, I have to deflate it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I know. I shouldn't even say anything because who knows when I'm going to find one. <laughs> Dollar General is a good place to look, though. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Or Big Lots. Big Lots probably has it, too. This is just... There's sure. a reason why I never call these tutorials is because I'm that person who cuts themselves with scissors. Kara, Arlene wants to know, did someone do one with a wire tie or another no tie method? Um, Kara did rubber bands. I did a rubber band, a twist tie, 
and I'm going to do um, wired ribbon on the next one. Arlene says, oh my God, the mental picture of Jean, Jean trying to sit on a ball without falling over. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I'm glad I made your day, Arlene. But tell them who does that. There is someone in this panel that does that. Yes, Care does that. Yes, there is. Y'all know you want to see my little bouncy ball. <laughs> That's that's why uh, if you ever see me and I'm sitting there and, and my face is out there, sometimes I'm hopping up and down. That's because I'm sitting <laughs> oh How's that God. for a mental picture for you, Arlene? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be so Bouncing cute. Bouncing on her, her office ball there all the time, too. Yeah. Well, if I sit still too long, it's a problem. Yeah, same here. Oh my gosh, let's just do stretchy lace with this one instead. You know, I want to take this bag of scraps with me on vacation. Well, it's not oh. really vacation, but. Well, that's a fun activity you could do easily. I could do this in the car, maybe. You know, the nice thing about doing it with fabric is you can hide that it's in there by just tying the knot and it becomes a part of it if it's about the same size. That's what I did with mine. Yeah. I like That's what that. I've been doing. I think I'm, I'm too lazy to get up and find something else to tie it with. <laughs> I'm trying all the different, I'm trying ribbon, tool, and fabric strips yeah. to tie it and even yeah. seam binding. Yeah. My camera's, I'm sorry about that. My camera's been up. I am anxious to try some with the pipe cleaners. Because okay. it, it kind of gives you a stem for the bow and it might give you a different place to put it. Well, I just okay. ripped one of my fabrics out. It was too short. Seam binding doesn't work to tie. Just if anybody's going to try that because it's not strong enough, it just rips. And you kind of want to get it as tight where you're tying it as possible. Well, I can so, say that three inches pulled right out of my little knot. So four yeah. inches seems to be staying. Oh my gosh, I love the shorty bow. He's so happy. The shorty bow. <laughs> my jeans, because these are um, tattered jeans that made their way to the pile, uh, the jeans keep rolling. I'm not sure if I like that or not. <laughs> we'll just roll you anyway. That's a good idea to put tattered denim in there. I didn't think of that one. Well, it's a nice stiffener on the bottom, I think. Yeah. I just have this image of someone sitting there and doing it fancy with stiff denim, burlap, and lace with some tool, you know, and it'd be all fancy. I just love that. I, we need another word for messy bows. Little joy bows, happy bows, fun bows. What do you guys think? Tell us what you think these should be called. Cluster bows. I, I do I like the way this one sits, the one that I did the little rubber band and then tied the bottom. That's not a bow, though. That's like I'm dreaming to be a flower. My camera's not happy with all the colors on my desk. It looks good on my screen. Well, it keeps. It, Ooh, look at that. Laura, you're, ca you're killing me, Laura. <laughs> This is after they were tied together and hanging in the hallway. Oh, you already did one. No, I just finished it. Oh, yeah. uh -uh. <laughs> she's already decorating her house during the. Oh, my what? goodness. I love oh, that. Goodness. We're not even 30 minutes in, and Jean's got it done, decorated, put up on the wall, displayed, and shared. <laughs> uh, I wish you could see it better than that, but. I wanted to hang it up so it, it could be seen better. Well, Brooke, Brooke says scrappy bows. Scrap! Oh, scrappy bows. Oh, that makes me want to go scrappy, scrappy do. And Laura says she likes scrappy bows too. And that is basically what it is. Like I took my mm -hmm. scrap bin and did all these strips out of my scrap bin. Oh, That's a good one. I do. I like that. I like that. Um, when I was checking my length on things... I'm not sure this is something a lot of people would have, but um, I actually do have a lot of these things uh, where, you know, people, um, 
donate stuff and you get a whole ream of lace or one time from one lady um she actually asked me if we could use these and she donated a stack of these down a little i'm thinking that it's it's something i use when i'm trimming stuff and i want to cut them all to size so i'll wrap it around i'll take my scissors and i'll cut down the middle of it but it is kind of a nice way without having to be fancy pants of tape taking your stuff folding it over and cutting it to a better size without having to have perfect measurements you know anyway just saying that's an awesome garland jean i love it i Thank love your you. garland it's got to be longer I'll, I'll have to be more than one piece because i didn't cut my tying strings long enough but that's okay i do have to say I have to confess that um, Halloween is my favorite holiday. It's my hubbies too for decorating. Yeah. Um, and and so many people are like, really? That's the fate of all the holidays? I think it's fun because you get to be like, um, oh my gosh, you're not even going to cut this ribbon, are you? Oh my word. Y'all, I need to sharpen my scissors. I really do. And I will not use my fabric ones to mess with this stuff. This will have to do. Sitting over here with five pairs of scissors. None of them working. Time for me to go to the dollar store. All right. I need to go there too. Definitely. Can I give you my list? Um, I have my own list after our conversation the other day. <laughs> Yeah, my poor hubby doesn't realize it yet, but Friday is going to be our running day. He has no idea yet, but that's okay. Surprise! Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> no, he's at, work. he's at work till midnight, so oh. I get to play. Yeah, mine wouldn't be watching unless he was like, I had a broken leg and had to sit. In here. <laughs> or if he thought you were up to something, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> I might have to get some more orange fabric. Shop. Um, I'll talk to you later about that, Jane, because there's a quilt shop with a mega sale right now on solids. Mm. So I'll message you that info. Okay. Tammy, Tammy's in chat. Tammy can put the link in the chat too, actually. Because she's the one that told me. Very good deal. I don't know what I want to put on this now. See, I think that white ribbon really would help because I have a, I just had a couple pieces of it that I that I brought up, and it seems like that kind of helps give it a little bit of structure and shape. Now that I think about each one I've done, I think I've added at least one piece of wired ribbon to it, and then this particular ribbon that I have, it's not wired but it's stiff, so I think it's nice to have the soft and fluffy blended with the stiff. Although I don't might make mine as chunky as y'all make yours. Y'all have good chunk going there. Mine are pretty chunky. Yeah, mine, mine too. <laughs> well, if they're mine, they have to be chunky. <laughs> chunky bows for chunky bows. No one can pick on our jean like that. Okay, so I think mm -hmm. I'm going to tie this one with something different. I do chunky journals, chunky bows. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cute with a pom-pom in the middle. Okay, I'm going to like this. Oh my goodness. What? I have, oh, it slipped. Dad nabbit. <laughs> just got Dad nabbit now. <laughs> well, it's better than saying what was on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my gosh. Say that I tied this one with string because a little piece was laying here. Yeah seems to tie it tighter so it fluffs more but then it slipped so maybe i'll have to yeah. try it again well that definitely explains the dag nabbit but it is kind of cute with my little tassely bottom there oh that's cute oh my god that is super cute oh i like that now see there's a perfect bow for a package yeah with the dangles for sure I'm so happy this one's too long it needs to be shorter 
Oh, darn. It looks like I'm making a cluster soon. <laughs> Don't you hate that? So, oh, what a pain. Oh, my gosh. I have to say this stiff back really gave me a real bow feel on this one. That's kind of cute. Oh, no, I see I'm more. I'm even using burlap, and I don't like burlap at all. Ooh, burlap makes me itch. I can't do it. Well, I don't like using it because it's not very safe. Yeah. You're not supposed to breathe it in. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Breathing is something I do on a regular basis. Well, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. stop. Okay, whiny. so seriously this is from a pair of jeans i had and i swear i only bought the jeans so these things would fall off and i could use them in my crafts <laughs> <laughs> oh you know I, I i would say i feel bad but i don't but this is definitely going to be oh there's no way i'm cutting through it with that y'all if you're a hardest and you ask for a pair of scissors um Scissors do go dull, so it's not like you can only ask once. Just saying. I so want this to be near the middle. Wouldn't it be cute? Just popping up right there. All right. I'm gonna do that. Oh. And I said I wasn't gonna overthink it, and there I go overthinking it. I like the stuff that's falling apart a lot too. The I love it. Oh. And stuff. I agree. I love that tattered look of things. I want to see what it looks like if it's only a few things. Oh, that's too straight. There we go. I can't get to all my wired ribbon. There's too much in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took a picture this morning of, of my packaging of the packs that I'm sending out mm -hmm. and sent it to care and told her that I was auditioning for hoarders. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're preparing for fabric, ribbon, lace, whatever else is in the bags, when you're preparing for this particular month, it takes up a lot of space and um yeah it's it's not a small i think i like this yeah let's do that one yeah, i remember there was a lot of cutting and a lot of space when i was doing those tassel kits a long time ago yeah so yeah and the reason that this stuff is called eyelash trim is because it feels like eyelashes and your eyeballs when it goes flying everywhere it's just so oh my gosh and you have strings all over whatever you're wearing when you're doing that too. Oh, are you kidding me? It's all, right now. I told the hubs because um, I'm going to be done trimming it tomorrow. I told the hubs, okay, so I'll need you to walk because I lay over the couch a whole uh, sheet thing. And then I have my little um, afghan on top of that. That's all covered in lace. I have two pillows that sit on it all covered, all, not <laughs> lace, it's this stuff, you know, all kinds of this kind of fancy stuff. And um, stuff that sheds. Oh my gosh! Yes, sheddy stuff. So all the sheddy stuff is <laughs> all sheddy over everywhere. It's <laughs> shedding everywhere. Yeah. That's awesome, Arlene. She said she made one. Now she knows she can, and she'll be dragging out the fabric scraps. <laughs> cool. Bust your fabric scrap stash with these for sure. That's what I'm doing. You know. I think, and, and you know what's great about it is if it's if your it's your fabric scraps, yeah, I can speak. Then you know you already like the fabric. Yep. <laughs> and if you're tired, like of your scraps, you can always swap scraps with a friend. Oh get my gosh. some new scraps. You yeah. know, is it just me, or do paper scraps look better when they're in someone else's paper scraps? Like. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who does that where you're like, oh my gosh, look at those paper scraps. Those look great. Okay. I am looking for something and I forget what I'm looking for. Let me pick a letter too. I have no idea. Oh, Shetty. Oh, Shetty. 
Yes, it's the Shetty stuff. We're playing with the Shetty stuff today. Well, that's just Shetty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the wire. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to just do it. This wire is about the thickness of a twist tie. A little thinner, I think. You could totally do that. Okay, I feel like it needs lace. Darlene, you should take or Arlene, you should take a picture of yours. I was trying to say Darla and Arlene at the same time. It came out Darlene. <laughs> but you should you should take a picture of yours, Arlene. I would like to see what yours looks like with whatever was sitting on your desk. Can you imagine the goodies that are on her desk? <laughs> Good stuff. Oops, those three fell off. I'm going to flip it over. Instead of having a bottom, I'm going to just keep it going. Well, I have decided I definitely do like using my fabric strips to tie it. And the reason is, is it gives those two little short pieces to help fill it out. Yeah. To pop in the middle. Yeah. And it's sturdy. It's sturdy enough. You know that at least. I just like trying different ways. Yeah. Trial and error. That's right. My desk is going to be a mess by the time we're done with these with all strings everywhere and all the all the shetties. Doesn't Girl. that just doesn't that just mean we had fun though? Yeah, for sure. Well, <laughs> I have a bunch of tool that's going out in this month that had glitter on it. My my sofa's covered in glitter. <laughs> oh no. Insert evil laugh. <laughs> I was going to say, there's jokes there too, but I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> so now you're Little Miss Glitter Birches. Is that what's going yeah. on? <laughs> that is one thing that my husband can't stand. If I'm in here and I'm messing with glitter and I give him a kiss before he goes to work, he's like, Every time somebody sees it on me and asks me one of those not so nice questions. <laughs> no, I'm just married to a crafter, I swear. We need to give you a stripper name so he can say that's who he was with. Right? <laughs> no, his all his coworkers know me, so they would <laughs> that would be interesting. I'd get I'd get messages from them. Did you know he saw so and so today? <laughs> Oh my gosh. That would be funny. We a friend of mine, we were quite quite younger <laughs> and stupider. But um <laughs> her husband and I and her made a plan because the guys give him such a hard time with where he works. And so I just called about um they called me and told me when he was headed back to work. And so I called before he would get there and asked if he was there. And they said no. And she says, can I take a message? And I said, well, I just wanted to tell him he left his watch here. <laughs> <laughs> and it took them almost all day to tell him that message. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Oh, it was funny. It was so funny. I'm sure the look on whoever's face told him, too, was kind of like, um. But his, I mean, him and his wife were both in on it. It was something, you know. I don't know that I'd have the courage to do that now as I did then, but maybe. Okay. I have to say using the thin wire made it really tight in the middle that I almost can't find the middle anymore. It's almost tassel like. Oh, there it is. I love that. Tassel like is good. I'm already tired of Halloween. I'm ready for something else, but I got to finish. <laughs> <laughs> So are y'all liking these? Is it fun to make them? Is it stressful? Is it easy? Not stressful if you just let go and don't overthink. 
And how are you doing with that, Kim? I'm doing okay, I think. All right, I'm so proud of you. I just have a, if you could see, it's if you just do this, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and mix and just pick. So that's the best way for me to do it. Yep. It's just not that's what I do. Separate. Yeah, don't have them separated. I actually and got a bowl and... out to so just put it all in there and mix it up. Yeah, don't don't have them all organized. Then it's easier to do random. This is my pile. It is just a bowl. This is just a. It's a pretty little box, though. It does look like a box that belongs in Kim's room. <laughs> if you could see Kim's room, there's probably not room for a box even in here today. <laughs> there's a lot going on in Kim's room right now. <laughs> I can relate. Yeah. Okay, I'm on. I've done six. That's not bad. I love how different everyone's color palette is. Me too. I'm kind of surprised I picked Halloween, but again, I did it because that's what was laying here. You got it. You flaunt it. That's right. There we go. Tossed bow salad. <laughs> I'll tell you, my dishes get used for more things than just food. <laughs> you know, um, these these uh, scrappy bows, which I do like that name now. Yes. These, these scrappy bows are about to be called sheddy bows. <laughs> oh, fun. Because <laughs> on my table, it's feeling like a sheddy bow. You know, I have to say I like the extra textures. The ribbon, the... Um, Oh, yeah. the, the, the tool, the burlap even. I even like the burlap. Oh my gosh. Mark this day on your calendar, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I like those textures in there. It's more I, I, I have to say, I I never would have guessed, but I really, really head towards having at least one wired ribbon in each one of these now. I really like that. I'm going to have to go to Dollar Tree to get some wired ribbon, I think, and try it. We I'm should add ready. wired ribbon in our sale because Jean and I both have leftovers after stuffing bags. Oh. Look at those cute little spiders. Oh, what the heck is cute about spiders? What? <laughs> yes, he's so cute. He says, I can't. How are you today? Now, you look <laughs> smashing. <laughs> both, Alan. <laughs> it's a good one, Brookie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, don't you feel sorry for my kids having to put up with me all the time? I mean, I kind of do. <laughs> just... Oh I my gosh, you guys won't believe this, but I held a quickie little live room inside of the Facebook Hardest Group, the Little Secret Hardest Group. And um, my daughter showed up. Isn't that cute? Aww. Oh my gosh. There were there were only a couple of folks. Jean, were you in there when she showed up? Uh-huh. I, I, I got to see your granddaughter. Yep, my granddaughter. The youngest one, the youngest grandbaby was in there too. Oh, how special. It was really cute. Aww. Totally surprised me. I'm sure I fumbled all over my words because I had one thought in mind and I was like, oh, grandbaby can't speak. <laughs> That's understandable. Grandbabies are special. Yeah. Oh, heck, you don't go in there. My son actually called last night, which is pretty rare. I mean, you know, my daughter calls, my son not so much. And um, I said, so what are you doing? And he says, oh, I'm just hanging with the boy. And I said, you are? And I said, where's the girl? And he says, oh, she's with mom. And I said, can I hang up and call you back so I can talk to the boy? <laughs> <laughs> so it was so, so sweet. I mean, he's, he's two and a half and he comes 
and and I call and my son holds it so he can see me. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, Grandma! Oh. Of all my grandkids, he said Grandma first and best. That's oh. all. So. Can't wait to be a grandma. I'm dying. My uh, grandkids oh, call me you. Grammy. That's my, my little nickname. What's your nickname? Grammy from the grandkids. Yeah, that's what my, my grandkids or the, our grandkids call my mom is Grammy. Yeah. And um, they, they, the oldest one got to name me. The rest of them just follow. Yes. Well, Riley's other grandma is Grammy. Oh. And so I, all my life, all I ever wanted to be was a grandma. My grandmas were grandmas. And there was no distinction between Grandma One and Grand, I mean, you know, any of them. And so I like being Grandma. But Riley did name Gary as Papa. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Okay, I'm really liking these. Oh my gosh, they're so darn random and cute and fun. Oh, Arlene, your bow is cute. Did she post it? No, she sent it to me. You want me to, here, let me make me big so you can see it on my phone. I got to get the glare out. Oh, that is cute. cute. That's weird, Arlene. Oh. I'll check on that. That's strange. That we saw it before. I think it's really cute. Burlap and hearth, too. Let me see. Love it, Arlene. That, that is, is super adorable. cute. Yeah, I love that. That is super I, cute. I love your tiny bit in there, too. The one on top, that little pokey bit. Well, I you have know, to say this would be good to use is, you know, all that stuff that we have that's stained and we just pitch it because it's it didn't matter what yeah. are we talking about it wouldn't matter if your stuff was stained or yucky or gross or whatever like if your fabric has got spots on it and stuff yeah. oh yeah no you know i have to say i thought it was going to matter if it wasn't in a strip but i've used a couple of the little triangle pieces i think you know, as long as it it'll, as long as it'll bunch, it'll be okay. So it doesn't even have to be perfect scraps. You know how cute these would be on Christmas packages. Oh my word! Underneath a tree yeah. with these on top of the, each one of them, and everything wrapped in brown paper. Oh my gosh, that would be so darn cute. Hi Donna. Hi Cat. I'm no good at saying hi to everyone. I always get stressed out on whether or not I'm going to miss someone. And so I just don't do the whole hi to folks. <laughs> and I, I hope Arlene, that doesn't upset anyone. I really do. Arlene said those are the leftover bits from a project she finished last night. So can you imagine how cute the project is? I bet it's adorable. Yes. It kind of gives me that Wizard of Oz look. Yes. With, with the burlap and the gingham and yeah. Um, can we do a quick giveaway? Cause I have more scraps than I can ever use. Yep. And I would love to do a couple of like scrap bags if anybody wants to get them out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, thanks. Yeah. I have too many, <laughs> you know, those cubby things with the fabric bins. I have like four of them full of scraps. So if I can get them gone, then I could put other things in there. You could make so new scraps. I know. <laughs> really? So <laughs> let me see who does. Um, let me see. I will put the number that I'm thinking of in, in the StreamYard chat. How's that? Okay. And then, no. I can do the Hey Siri thing if you want me to instead of a number if you want to. I can do Google too. but it'll be I just saw your number you wrote down. Oh, okay. I crossed it out though. Did you see me scratch it out? Oh, no, I didn't. Did you see this number? <laughs> yep, that's the number I saw. Okay. Okay, let's do Siri then. But let's do it twice, and it'll be like you know, the yep. si what's the size of a hardest bag? Like what, ten by thirteen? Ten by thirteen. Yes. 
Oh my gosh, I want to do a bow in the middle of this one, see if I can even see. I would love to have somebody else's scraps, but I can't. Okay, <laughs> let me see. I'll type it in, I guess, right? Yep. There is 15. And it's closest without going over. Yep. Okay. We have 15 people watching. We should pick a number between 1, one. and 40. Okay. 40. So I'm going to hit start. Pick a number between. I did it. I wrote it already. 40. Oh, you did it already. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's for a 10 by 13 scrap bag. And yes. you can make a bunch of these yourself. Hi, and we'll, Kathy. And we'll Hi, settle, um, we'll pick two numbers here, okay? Okay. You want me to pick them or are you picking them? You can pick them. Okay. We'll wait until we have a quorum. Okay, I have to tell you, I love buttons, but I definitely didn't do this the right way. This is a how not to string the button. I just should have just strung it on the other side. Hi, Susie Q. Miss you. Hi, Susie. Okay, there's more. Hi, than Kathy. A Hi, Tammy. Hi, Susie. I think I might have seen Tammy earlier, so. Yeah. Well, um, now I don't have to stress about saying hi to everyone if they put in a number. Then I can see them all in a row. So we've yeah, got. Pick a number, y'all. Yeah, Thank pick you. a number so I can say hi. <laughs> then I won't be all stressed. Thank you, well, Laura. you too, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Laura, you need to pick a number too. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can. Right. I don't care. Darling, you can pick a number. Jeannie, you can pick a number. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. I have an angry button. I just could not figure out how to loosen that thing, and it was just not the right way to do it. Still well, picking. We will count. We will count the one before the number. Oh wait, wait. Never mind. That was me. I put a number in too. Hey Tammy, do you do you, you not totally love should. Jean's Halloween one? You don't know what to do with fabric scraps. We're well, showing you, lady. Yeah. You know how to make yeah. cotton, Laura, and you know how to make bows. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. <laughs> Come on. Are we ready? So hold on, I get to say hi to Tammy and Kathy and Arlene and Curly and Donna and Susie and Laura and Brooke <laughs> and Kat. Uh, we have a stop there. All right, you ready? Good make luck. Sure, make sure my volume's on first. It is. Pick a number between 1 and 40. It's 25. 25. And the 25. closest to 25 without going over looks like, oh, just barely over on one of you. That looks like Darla to me. Woohoo! I got Kimmy scraps. Yay! <laughs> All right. One more. Okay. You ready? Pick a number between 1 and 40. The answer is 30. The answer is 30. Ooh. And 30 looks like... That, that looks like Brooke to me, right? Uh, yep, that's definitely Brooke. Congratulations. Kim, okay, do you have both addresses? Um, I Brooke, do I have yours? I think you may have emailed it to me a while back. But if not, um, my email for Defy oh. is donate at disabledartist.org. Okay. Let's, do, let's do one more. I just want to do one more. I okay. just did like it. <laughs> Let's do one more. So pick out of the same numbers and we'll pick one more. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 40. It's 37. 37. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. It's Brooke again. Who's the next closest behind? No, that's Donna. Oh, Donna. 37. Oh, you're right. Donna, Donna Betts. Donna had 33. Donna, my <laughs> eyeball sneaked right past that 33 and read it as a 23. Okay, so we have so Darla and Donna Betts. Yay! Oh my I will ship those on Friday, y'all. 
And I'm not going to look. I'm just going to empty the bin and just stuff it until it's the thing closes. Like for all three of y'all, I'm not going to. It's going to be random, Jean. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> It is one of the hardest things in the world to do for me is random. So I totally get it, Kim. It is hard for me. Okay, here we go. Now the button is strung. Oh my gosh, this is a high strung craft. <laughs> well, the right person's doing it. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. <laughs> That's all right. I already put my foot in deep enough for both of us. Oh, okay. This one has none of the wire stuff. This one's just all fluffy with a with a button and a bling. Oh my gosh, it's so darn cute. Now how I feel about the blue jeans on top. You gotta be smaller. Oh my gosh, I can't cut a dang thing. Oh. oh my gosh. Yep. Loving it. I'm going to have to have my friend make more Halloween stuff so I can have her scraps. <laughs> right? the, ha the Halloween one is my favorite one. Seriously. I, I would put that like, you know, on my fireplace mantle or on top of my china cabinet or something when we decorate. That is so stinking cute. I love it. Well, love it. I am so thinking it would be just cute strung across a fireplace. Yeah. You know, that is yep. just so cute. Oh my gosh. You I know do what? like it with the wire. I have a fireplace. Do you know Perfect. what else I thought would be cute is, you know, you can get those, um, those wire wreaths from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And put them all on that, you know, kind of have a, like a wreath of scrappy bows. Oh my gosh, that'd oh. be so cute. And you know, that would take a lot less fabric than, you know, when you when you see the wreaths done where they do the knot like this and then it slides through like that. Those, wow, those were just, you know, when you see the wreaths that it slides through the hole and you make it like a rag flag, oh, like uh -huh. that, that yeah. takes a whole lot more fabric than doing it this way on those wreaths. We were originally going to include those little wire wreaths, but we couldn't find enough to give everyone one. We tried to order it from Dollar Tree and it gave us the strangest. Like, Jean, do you remember that when we were trying to order those? It was crazy. It was really the strangest, um, I don't even know what to call it, error message. And it wouldn't even let us order for a while. That was, that was an odd duck. This makes me want to do it with scarves that have gradually changing patterns too. Ooh, ombre. Ooh, I like mm -hmm. that. That would look cute. I'm gonna try to make a pinky one. I'm not sure I'm succeeding. Yay, now I can get more fabric in my bins. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'm so glad you're getting scraps. Oh, thank you, you Kim. I'm so glad y'all are happy about that because I can't bear to throw them apart, you know, throw them away, but I have way more than I can ever use. So that's awesome. I'm kind of like care with the paper scraps. I'm always like, oh, scraps. They're so Speaking inspiring. That, I wanted to try that on here. You know what is the best thing I've ever seen with paper scraps, and it was made by a hardest, is they took a really long, um, they cut strips out of like ledger paper and music pages and took their paper scraps and zigzags, you know, sewed them on the machine on top of the long strip and made like a paper snippet roll. Oh with my gosh. And they even inked it and everything. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen with paper scraps. That sounds flipping cool. It was really cool. This is also made by a artist sitting next to me. Whenever people see these in the little thank you things that when they buy from auctions, it's made by a artist and she uses a bunch of paper strips and fabric bits. Isn't that sweet? Oh, I like that. Um, I yeah. think I got one of those in one of my packages. I love them. Mm -hmm. 
What's neat about it is if you put that in the in your journal, I mean, it adds interest, but it could also actually have little journaling. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's room to put passwords on these ones. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are those to us again, Care? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> oh, man. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> All right. Are you having fun, Darla? Actually, I am. I'm so glad you came on because you don't always do a lot of online stuff with us, so I'm so glad. I, I feel blessed to have you here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just put my calendar at work. I just, I'm taking off. <laughs> I need it. You deserve it. You way deserve it. You so deserve it. Oh my gosh, look at this 80s color. <laughs> oh, my oh yeah, you're not going in there. Get out of there. You're going to go in your own little party right there. Oh man, that almost would work if someone was doing this in color schemes. You had like a a warm color here, crazy color there. You know, that would be kind of fun. Here, you got to go in that file now. Oh, it's not working. My brain can't think to layer like that. I can't believe I almost have used, I think I have enough scraps to do one more with my fabric. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. I did a lot of stripping. <laughs> No <laughs> of fabric of fabric <laughs> i can't believe that only made all of that and i've only maybe made like eight or maybe ten max like that's crazy oh that's wow. funny of fabric people y'all we have stripping sure. today we've been a little scrappy <laughs> before we came shitty. on live i was yeah, we were things were <laughs> <Yeah. shitty. laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this might be my last one. Wow. That's a lot. Speaking of last one, we've been on for an hour, and I'm thinking of keeping this one to about an hour. So we That's should probably get our fun stuff out and display the ones we have made. Six, seven. I made eight. Okay, I've got eight. We're not counting because I'm. I don't want to know how many Jean Peter has. I'm just saying. I know. I need a baby one. <laughs> I think I put them all really my... thinner and and made them short. I think so. by the time mine are all done, I'll oh, have ten. So cute. It okay, your cute. baby one is the bomb. How cute! Baby ones kind of look pom pommy. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Arlene. That's it. Bye, Kat. <laughs> she just. See you, Kat. Funny Arlene. <laughs> I love Arlene since we have her. <laughs> what did she say? Now I gotta go find it. Uh -huh. She just flipped up and explained the glitter. <laughs> Seriously, I look my husband at my husband's face before he leaves so I can get glitter off before he goes to work. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. <laughs> my you know, I really have to say, it. I like the tool with it. And I cannot find my little bag of tool for the freaking I holiday. do like the tool with it. I do too. I have it in almost every one of mine and I, I do yeah. like it. I it, it, it gives you a sparkle of something that's just needed. Yeah. Well, I also think it kind of does like this mesh hold at the top level, you know? like that all right here we go oh i don't want this gray one in there what am i tying you with this time i'm tying you with oh i didn't even use any lace in this one that's goofy i hope shelly watches this and sees how her little um gift bows for you um inspired us to do all these shelly's scrappy bows yes so cute I hope she watches that and sees that that was all because she sent you those bows. It is. It is. All right. Let me. Uh, I, I love it. Paper strips longer. 
Oh, I could wear it as a boa. <laughs> it's a bit scratchy. <laughs> Darla, I like yours. I'm getting the boho vibes from yours. Oh, yeah. Well, I did put some of the um, stuff. I took out of my rug in it, too. Yeah, I'm loving that because it's it's definitely got the boho vibes going. I like that. <laughs> I definitely like the shorter. I think I like the shorter um, yeah. pieces. Me, too. Because you get too long and they just kind of look, they just kind of, I don't know, they don't. Who are you calling floppy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're too floppy. That's, That's right, Susie Q. She said, I, she told me to remember I'm vintage rose, not gypsy rose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's why mine are looking the way they do, because they're going to be hung up in here. Oh my gosh, I love these. They're so much fun. All right, I'm pulling mine out too. Oh, I do have that little baby one that I popped up. Belongs in something. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. We should thank um, Brooke, too, because we were using her name, Scrappy Bows. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Thank you for naming it, Brooke. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite ones. It just it's like a, you're going to wear it as a bow something. You want to do some show and tell? We should. We should. Let's go big screen. Let's go big screen on our. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's me. I don't need to show and tell. Y'all show and tell. No, you show and tell. All right. I'll do it real quick. Bow one. I'll do. This is my micro bow where we did the, the rubber band around it and then around the bottom. Bow two. Bow three. This one has lots of wired stuff, so it made it, you can shape it in all kinds of different ways. I already lost count. Here's another one. <laughs> That's how my brain works. This is chunky. This is the chunky bow. I think the chunky bow is more fun. This is the little one with its own, um, whatever these things are called, pom-poms. Pom -poms. This is the leftover pom-pom in the middle bow. I did find that I liked having the jeans in there with the tool and the lace and the scrappy bits. Oh, huh. Oh, yeah, I totally like the jeans in that one, too, for mm -hmm. sure. And then... This was that, I think I was showing you that already. I don't know, but that's the last one. You know, birches with bling, Bo. That's a fit. That's the fancy pants one. Yeah, the fancy pants one. <laughs> it's just darn cute. <laughs> oh, but on to the next person. Oh. Jane, oh. you're up. So I have the garland, which is just a bunch of them tied together on a black string. And then I have all these. And then, you know, this is the bowl I used. And I sure like them better piled up here. Yeah. What are you going to do with all those now? I'm going to still add them to the garland or make another garland and tie them together. Cool. I want, them, I want it to be at least big enough to go around the door. And then there's my baby one. Oh, and that's I, cute. Most, most of mine are between six and eight inches. I like them. I like them big, and, and there, there's a lot in each bow. Is that your doorbell, Dean? No, no me. That was Darla. Oh, okay. Sorry, Darla. <laughs> my dogs hear her dogs, though. <laughs> I'm surprised mm -hmm. my doggie's not yapping. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, too cute. All right. I love oh, that's that. That's what I got. Those are oh. adorable, Jean. I love the whole Halloween thing. You've got them all coordinated. Mine are all sideways. They all kind of look the same, which is what I'm kind of going for because it's going to go in my garland with all of these fabrics. So all these fabrics are going to be pennants strung as a banner, and then these are all going to go on a garland hanging over the top. So they all kind of are similar. So that's my shabby ones. 
That so looks like it belongs in your household. It, it is. It looks no, not in my house. Here. No, 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 not in my household. In my craft room. That's the I'm only sorry. where pink. Yeah, it's that's the only where pink is. Yeah. My vision of your craft room is like the soft Valentine went to Paris. Yeah, but there's black. It's black and white and pink. But like, hubby doesn't want pink like around. So he's very no. So it's only in the craft room. So yeah, that's why I overdo it in here. It's, it's your free space. It's my happy place. Yes. Yeah, mine said no to orange too. But as soon as I painted that kitchen lime green and orange, he was okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Kim. Darla, you're on. Oh, okay. And here's mine. Kind of going for a little bit of a fall theme. How pretty. Very like pretty. I love fall colors. They're just so happy. And these are all different. I mean, <laughs> I think you kind of change and learn as you go. So, because I think I started out being a little bit too, little too, uh, you know, yeah. a little bit floppy. And I definitely like the the, the idea of putting uh, the wired ribbon in there because it gives it a little bit of stability. I like them a little bit shorter. And I also um, started going through and some of the things I had a little wide, I cut them a little um, more narrow. I kind of liked them a little narrow. So anyway, I think it's going to be cute. I'm actually thinking about getting a wired um, wreath and, you know, putting a little something on my door to decorate this year. I usually don't decorate, actually. If you do, will you take a picture and share it? Because I would love to see that. Sure. I would, I would too. Well, thank awesome. you all for hanging out and crafting together. This this was just a whole lot of fun with all of you. And I, I think they look fabulous. And I think they're beautifully different fabulous in each one of our piles. So I, I, uh, I enjoyed doing this. And hopefully all the folks who have scrappy bits have, uh, have a home for their scrappy bits. So love and hugs, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Scrappy bows. How cute.